the La Tour de Filipinas returns with its ninth edition to the cradle of Philippine cycling from May 20 to 23 with six Philippine teams seeing action against a formidable roster of 10 foreign squads. None of the four stages of the Category 2.2 International Cycling Union Road Race breached the 200-kilometer mark, but organizer Ube Media Inc. made sure the routes are competitive technically, especially the final stage that finishes in Baguio City. Every year, we try to make this race international caliber, and we are very proud to do this because we want to be sanctioned internationally. We want to have a world-class race for our local riders to race side-by-side -side with foreign cyclists," said LTDF chairman Donna May Lina during the event's press launch on Thursday at the Palacio de Manila in Roxas Boulevard, Manila. The 16 teams are composed of five riders each who will kick off their campaign in the 151. 32 kilometers opening stage on May 20th from Cusan Memorial Circle in Cusan City to Palayan City, Nueva Ecija and Tacala 157. 90 kilometers trek from Cabanachuan City to Bayambong, Nueva Vizcaya via Dalton Pass. Stage 3 would be a 174. 5 kilometers grind from Bambang, Nueva Vizcaya to the Dagupan city finish Pangasinan, and the fourth and decisive stage will be a daunting 154. 65 kilometers challenge from Lingayan, Pangasinan, to Baguio City via the fabled Kenan Road. All 80 riders would cover a total distance of 638.3 kilometers in the race co presented by AIR 21 and Sinal and which passes through Pangasinan, Nueva Ecija and Nueva Vizcaya, three provinces that have produced the most number of Philippine Tour champions. We made it a point that all four stages are technically measured, said Phil Cycling Road and Track Commission Chairman June Lamabau, who also shared center stage with LTDF founder Bert Lina and Sunshine Mendoza, the country's first female national commissaire for road race. The foreign teams that were invited were practically the same teams which asked to be invited earlier. These foreign teams really wanted to race in Latour, Lamibawa added. So we're expecting high-caliber riders and a high level of competitions. Everybody in Asia wants to get as much UC points as possible. Former title holder Mark Gaeldo of Continental Team 711 Road Bike Philippines and Philippine Navy Standard Insurance's Ronald Aranza and National Road Champion Jan Paul Morales lead the Philippine charge. Completing the local team roster are Bike Stream PH, Go for Gold, CCN Super Team, and the Philippine National Team. Fancied Kiwi rider Daniel Whitehouse, who settled for a bridesmaid finish last year behind Australian Jai Crawford, is also back in the hunt as he takes up the cudgels for Thailand-based Interpro Cycling Academy team. Also in the hunt are Iran's Pishgaman Cycling Team Iran, Australia-based Brisbane Cycling Team and Oliver's Real Food Racing, Mongolia's Nice Devo, South Korea's Coral Cycling. Malaysia's Team Sapura and Terengganu, China's Ningxia Sports Lottery Level, and Indonesia's KFC Cycling Team.